started on a team when you first got into real estate. So talk about that change from going from team to then now being independent. Yeah, the team to me from the start was a it's sort of a safety net. It's kind of how I justified like, well, what if I go into this commission-based position? And it's like, well, a team, at least in this particular team, provided some leads, provided support, provided all those things, uh, which was great. I was really thankful that I did it. It's just, I really underestimated the sphere that I would bring in from my own deals that came in kind of like flooding in way more than I thought. I'm glad that I wasn't on it for a long time because that would be a symptom of a growing business. So I don't regret what happened, but I do like, it was cool to be around the camaraderie. The team meetings weekly were cool. I got to meet some people who were really like gracious to me and walked through really simple questions that I would call simple now. When you're in the beginning, it's like, okay, this is really like, I need to make sure this is right. You're writing your first offer. So I, I was on the team in the beginning and thankfully, I mean, I really see our brokerage as a one huge team. Like there's people that I meet with all the time who our team leads to even their own people. And I feel like they treat me like I'm one of their team members if I need something. So still have the support, still have a lot to learn, but I kind of just took the leap and I did some math. <laughs> Uh, and I was like, I think I can do this on my own. It's still scary. I will say it was not nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be, which is how things tend to be.